Do you mind introducing yourself and letting us know why you wanted to show up today? All right. I'm Donna, and I live here in St. Paul. Um, I was up north on Monday, and um, I've been a long time kind of dabbling in activism, and this is it. Like, this is the issue where it all just comes together. It's climate, it's um, following native leaders and being in solidarity with them, it's young people, it's queer people, it's all of us just coming together. And um, that's why I'm here today, to keep that going. We had like really positive gains on Monday. We've got another new camp and we wanted to have a way for people to get involved here in the city that maybe didn't make it up there and for people who were up there and are back here to be able to continue. And you know, the XL was canceled and the ARCO insurance said no more to the Canadian pipeline. So we're on a roll and I want to just keep it going. Yeah, there's been a lot of the uh, like anti-oil victories really yeah. like the past uh, like couple of weeks. And so I guess like, do you mind uh, like, how does that play into like the feeling on the ground since you were, you were actually up there at the like main line three protest? Like what was the feeling there? What was the vibe? Um, how was that going? It was an incredible feeling of unity when we rolled in. So like there were trainings and, and speakers and talk of decolonization and people were really like coming to terms with some of their stuff and processing that. And so that really had people feeling united. So I think that it's a really strong feeling of people from all over the country, people sharing, organizing skills from all over and learning all the same songs and chants and so I feel like there's really good momentum right now. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, when it comes to like pushback, like I know there's a big news story about the helicopter that was flying super low the other day. Um, like, did you all see any of that? And like, what was like um, the situation going on when, when you were seeing like uh, that kind of stuff? Well, we're becoming used to that because it's security culture, you know, and it's the same helicopter there that was spraying people with stones and dust that has been harassing people's neighborhoods in South Minneapolis after the murder of George Floyd. So we've gotten used to it. And instead of being afraid of it and staying home, we're just coming out anyway. Yeah. And I think the tie into the cities is really important, too, because I was seeing that the yeah. spokesperson that came out to defend what the helicopter was doing is actually... Um, somebody who's done consulting work with, with like the Minneapolis Police Department and so there's a lot of like um, tying that in so as somebody who lives in the city is like do you feel like that the issues that we have here are like connected to everything that's going on with Line 3? Well sure because the militarization of our culture is so thorough now with all of the supplying of little rural police departments with uh, old military stuff that just is an easy way for it to be accessible to whoever <laughs> thinks that they need to be in charge. So it's happening in rural places as much as it is in urban places. I mean, we had conservation officers in, on the ground in Brooklyn Center. So they're calling people from rural to come here and vice versa. It's all part of that same Northern Lights Task Force. Yeah. Um, is there anything that gives you like a lot of hope about the future of Line Three and um, like I mean especially water rights like um, and like just clean water because here in Minneapolis, to my understanding, the, we get our water from the Mississippi, which is being threatened right now by Line Three. My hope is from building relationships, it's from making friends with young adults who are out here and seeing young people from all over committed to being on the front lines and standing in there together. That's where the hope is. That's awesome. Um, is there anything else that you wanna you wanna say about like why you decided to come out here and 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 what everybody's doing? It's all connected. It's all it's all connected to all the issues, the racism that's going on everywhere. Like that's where we're at right now. We got to change the whole system. It's not just a couple little blips on the screen. It's the whole system that needs to. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking your time to to speak about this. All right. Power to the people. If you like this video, then consider subscribing on YouTube. I also stream on Twitch, Tuesday through Sunday at 9 a.m. Central. Support on Patreon is what makes all this possible, so please consider becoming a patron.